Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? Today it's the man child. All right, so up for review today, we got the new Masterverse for Princess of Power Catra. Um, yeah, she's looking pretty good. You know, like I say with a lot of these Masterverse figures, I really like the way she looks in box. I already posted some early pics on her. You know, sometimes you do that for the you know social part of YouTube, and of course, you get some comments. A lot of them were positive, and and of course, there were some questions or concerns. Um, number one, before we get into her, is she a member of the Evil Horde? Which we'll check that out in a bio soon. Because she has a Princess of Power sticker to it, a Classics, which I do have one. I think had just the Evil Horde sticker. Didn't have Princess of Power on it. Um, and something about her legs. A couple comments, too. Her legs don't look right. They look too long or something. Or the way they're bent in the joints. Uh, I don't know until we get out of her box. Sometimes, yeah, they do look funny because the, the skirts are a little bit shorter. Their legs are more bare. And they got longer legs. It's just maybe the collar of the boots. I don't know. Well, when we get her out, take a look. It's a big concern with Shira, too. And I'll bring in Shira Compare. And she looked fine to me. Once you straighten her out and did all the things. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. They gave her a shield. Looks like bigger one of the classics. Can we compare? And maybe some type. It looks like a you know, energy wand or something. A couple spare hands. And here's some cool art on the back of the box. And Masterverse is, you know, has his own unique art. Here's all the uh, newer figures in a way. And I already reviewed Zodak. I'll bring him in to compare him. I still haven't seen these two. CGI He-Man Skeletor. I, I know they were coming around, but sporadically. Now we have Catra. Now, here's the bio. So, let me bring that in, right? Now, you can pause and read it, but in the beginning, it says, The cruel calculating force captain of the evil horde holds her hatred for Shira close to her heart. And, you know, you can read the rest. But, right there. So, to answer that person's question, even though this box is labeled Princess of Power, she is a member of the evil horde on this. So, that's that's how they have her set, which is good. But flipping the box around at the same time, it seems to me, because she looks a little more filmation inspired, they're sticking with... That original concept going back to the you know the little girl's toy called that in the day when the vintage toys were around, they had the Princess of Power logo on it. So I think that's why they went about it that way. Okay, we got our catch out of the box. Let's give her a quick look around. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. You know, it's it's, it's back to the legs. They they look normal to me. I mean, I straighten them out. It's uh she looks like a sexy cat lady warrior with long legs. I don't see anything that seems to be out of proportion. I'll even bring her in a, compare it to the classics, which I do have a, out of card, and we'll even measure her legs too. But it looks okay to me. So, bringing in Catcher for a closer look, check out her face and head sculpt. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool. I really like that head sculpt. I like the way the eyes are done. Um, this mask piece is cool. So, as far as with the mask on, we'll take it off in a second. The articulation, I'll check all out, of course. Just go back and forth, go forward and back like that. Now, she has the hair is pretty cool. It's all sculpted, obviously. Um, can that move? No, look, you gotta watch that too. Looks like it's glued on there. You wanna snap it off, but yeah, it's flexible anyway. It's not, I still was articulated, but that's kind of the back of the head. There's a cape and a collar. We'll get to that in a second. But getting back to the face sculpt, I love the way the eyes, just the mouth is done, kind of has a, yeah, a little bit of a mean look, but again, like feminine. Now, here's something I noticed. So let's remove this cat mask for a second, right? Let's bring that in for a closer look. Pretty cool. Got the green eyes painted. And there's the back. But look at something there. Look at that. See what they are? They're pegs. And why is there pegs? Let's bring her in for a closer look again. Look at that. She has peg holes in the head. I don't know why they did that. That right there. I mean, if you just want to leave this on her, fine. It's an awesome figure. But that, or like should have had an alternative head maybe. I don't like that. So I'm just showing it as it is, but okay. Um, but without that on, there's even a closer look at the face. Really pretty. Um, little bit, yeah, it has a little witchy look, a little meme, which that's with the classics. And I'll bring it in soon. The classics had a really bony witch look to me. Where this is, it has that, but it's more on a feminine side. I to go back to maybe the, the girls, you know, the toy line of the day, which I didn't have one. I'd like my friend's sister had a catch from I remember. But really well done, but okay, I don't like those peg holes, so it is what it is. So moving down to her chest and arms, uh, so with the articulations, all the same aesthetics as Teal and all the other figures, right? A little bit muscular, but not bad, it works. I mean, there are warrior women, right? But up and down, as far as articulation, we got forward and back. Okay, spin at the, um, that bicep cut she has, of course, pinless joints and the elbow. Flex go all the way in like so. Um, it's got these wrist gauntlets. Now, these are not, they're totally sculpted on and painted. Cool paint, too. It's like a red and even has a little, uh, like a cat symbols there. 
painted on, you can see. But yeah, you can't, you couldn't cut these off. You want to modify and just have regular arms or some fingers you can. Um, she comes with two open claw, like the fingers with even the nails are painted, which is cool, right? Because it's like a cat posing like a cat stance, and it's on a hinge joint, right? Go in and out, can spin. And the left arm, of course, all the same, right? Same bracer and everything with the symbol and this. Same thing, has the same hand. We'll change them out soon. But I like that they painted the nails. It's pretty cool. So moving on to her dress and chest area. Um, you know, has the articulation, that ab kind of thing. She can move back and forth, go down and back. Has a cool... Um, so this is all sculpted on, all stressed. There's nothing that can open up or no pieces that can separate. And uh, has a cool whore logo. So that's, I like that. But when you move her back and forth, it's going to split that and separate it. Not, it's not too bad. Not a big deal. Also has another, like, yeah, whore, check that out. Has a horde, um, little belt going around here. Also, all part of the sculpt. There's nothing, I don't see anything glued on. I don't think so. No, it's all part of sculpt. It's just painted different. Uh, dress is pretty cool. Looks reminiscent of classics. And, you know, it's just a soft material cut here. Now, uh, okay, so, and then we got the waist. Okay, so the waist too. Okay, so the waist is inside, right? Move the waist back and forth. Let's check that out. So moving on to the cape, I like that cape. I like that material. It's pretty cool the way it's cut with a classics had a rubber one. Um, but this is neat. To remove it, so let's pop the head off for a minute. All right, put the mask back on. It's typical uh, female ball peg, and that's how it's going to come off. So it comes off really easy. You got this little yeah red neck collar. It's soft as you can see, and it's um it's stitched to cape. So yeah, I can't say you want to move this off and just use the neck collar. Shira had that with her cape, by the way, the long one. You can actually separate the longer cape from that. It was a shoulder armor piece, and you can use them individually. At least the armor piece. This you can't, but here's what that looks like. And here's a quick look at Catcher without the cape. You don't want to use it. All right. So moving back. We put the cape back on right now. Everything the way she's set up. Um, yeah, moving back down to the legs and the waist. So I already said we have the articulation there now. Yeah, you got this weird thigh cut. All the Masterverse has this Revelation figures. That's kind of weird. I mean, especially with the women with the legs. It really ruins the sculpt. But, you know, when your angle's like this, you don't, I don't know. I don't notice it, I guess, under certain lighting conditions. Um, all right, go all the way out like this with a split. Okay, kick forward. Kind of go back about that far. And all the way up at the knee. And, yeah, got the cool boots. Check that out. It's the same thing. Painted just like the gauntlets. Actually, a little... Oh, no, it's the same. And then has that a bigger, like, a symbol in there, paint it. They can spin, and as far as the foot, go all the way down, up, right? Can rock a little bit, spin side to side. So as far as all your articulation, I mean, you're back to the legs for a second. Now, we already went through everything. Maybe it's some certain angles in a box that looks weird, but, you know, they look fine to me. You know, I can't stress that enough. They look right. If you were to do, a, you know, a kick or something, or the split we did, um, yeah, front kick, or just standing up. So let's uh, start bringing in our classics, Catra, and uh, compare them side by side. All right, so here's a uh, faraway shot of our classics on this side, and here's our Masterverse uh, Catra. So if you're curious, they look like together, and uh, you know they're almost the same height, but we'll go over some details between them both. But again, look at the legs. The classics way it goes up in a dress is pretty much the same height. And the side has this big ugly pin, which I don't... That's one thing I never liked with the classics. I couldn't stand the pins and the cuts. We just don't have that. It has pinless joints. But you got to have this knee piece to where when you bend the classics back, you're kind of getting that big hinge piece, all right? So we'll bend and kind of take a look. What happens, the challenge they have to do in order to pinless, you know, joints over uh, joints with pins in them. So you kind of see the difference there. And of course, we'll uh, bring a close up with the face and head sculpts between the Masterverse and the Classics. And yeah, look at that. Um, I mean, everybody loves the. I love the Classics. It's his own thing. Very, you know, she has uh, mascara up there, or eye, I like eyeshadow or something. Um, the lips are different. The eye she has mean eyebrows. Very witch-like looking. Higher cheekbones. Where this one again looks more feminine to me, more filmation spire. Where. This was kind of went back to, this was kind of a redesign off the um, vintage toy. Totally different. Now, bringing in the head pieces a little bit between the classics. So the, the classics does pop off, so and we'll take hers off. All right, now, if you wanted to use this one on the classics, if you had it, I mean, I don't know why. You, you can't because the pegs are just going to keep popping off. But let's, for a second, let's see the um, classics. How does that work on her? Okay, so kind of sit there if you wanted it, put a little tape or something, but without them pegs, because the way you design, it's just, it's not, it's going to fall off. But anyway, let's check out the heads again without that, uh, you know, 
cat piece up top. So you can see the big difference. I mean, look at that. Real, really complete difference. And there's the sides, and that's the hair. Classics had really cool hair. Again, it was all sculpted, but look at that. That's a little more impressive. Classics had a rubbery cape. Um, similar neck collar, but a lot, you know, a lot longer. Right in there, you can see that the design compared to the Masterverse one. And then the dresses, they're very reminiscent of each other. Classics, a little more dull, but yet defined with the bat. It's all one piece. You can see the belt. She seems a little more narrow in her waist. Wow, thinner. I would think this one is. And then you can see the dress. But again, getting back to the legs. And she's all, yeah, the boots. These had like hinged, they're all messed up in the joints there. But they look pretty much the same. So again, not to beat a dead horse about the leg thing, but I'm going to go up to the hip and measure down to the foot. We got about four, roughly four inches. And then going to the Masterverse one, same thing, up to the hip to, let me straighten the foot out. Wait a minute. Something like that, right? We got about four inches. And the last thing I would say, as far as comparing the Classics to the Masterverse, Catra, um, yeah, the skin tone is totally different. Classics really put a darker wash. It has like a wash, even some kind of overspray. If you can see that, it's two different colors, where the Masterverse is just one color. It's just really, yeah, more of a whitish, and this one's tan. With, at first, I thought it was a mistake in the spray from the dress, but it's not. It's like they intended it, because you can see it in her face, you can see it in her arms. It's almost a reddish, blumish they sprayed on her skin. To, uh, yeah, I guess kind of match the aesthetics of the dress and make her more cat-like or different in appearance. But, so, it's yeah, it's kind of the difference between those two. So putting the headpiece back on our Masterverse catcher, another interesting thing to do with the peg, I don't know if it's meant to be or just mine. I mean, you can... Push it up and just so you can see your face and have the mask on. And you can also drop it forward. And that's how you cover eyes. So it seems to kind of articulate off those pins. Now I, I look at it better. So getting back to the classics, we'll start getting some accessories soon. Classics also came with this um, cool silver cat face mask. It just kind of snaps on. You can see the eyes. I think the vintage might have had something like that too. I don't remember. Leave in the comments if you know. Well, that's how it would snap on. I don't know. Let's see if it works on the Masterverse Catra. Okay, so this is what it looks like in a Masterverse Catri. Kind of, kind of work. It's but her face is a little wider. You know, it don't, don't look its best. But if you had that piece or something, or found on eBay, you can kind of get it to work, and it looks something like that. So moving on with the Masterverse Catra's accessories, we got this. Look at that shield. That's a cool shield. I like the face in it, just the size of it. It has a jewel, but the jewel's white. It's not painted, right? And that's the front, and there's the back. And here's a quick comparison between the classics. And again, our Masterverse. So look at the size of that. Very, yeah, the sculpt's reminiscent of each other. Got the typical cat face, but this one has the purple jewel. And again, I think it's going back to that vintage figure because they all had different color shields. She, If it's accurate to that, she had a silver one with a purple jewel one, I would think. And that one has clips on it like that. And obviously, we know the back of the Masterverse one has straps. And the Masterverse cash also comes with this, yeah, an energy wand or something like that. It's pretty long, cool. Has a little uh, painted jewel inside. It's doesn't look translucent it's just all part of the gray sculpt and they just painted it so you get that and for her last accessory she also comes with a pair of alternate hands which is cool and they're uh close gripping hands for weapons and stuff and i like that you got a pair for the left and right side that are gripping not a lot of your figures come with a punching fist i don't use that but so you get those it's cool now these other two weapons is also what the classics came with that the masterverse did not so it's just kind of showing you this and it would have been cool if you'd get additional weapons. Um, and I have a feeling you did that. It would turn into a big box set, like they're pulling with Cheer and Hordak, and yeah, more expense, and you know that deal. But check that out. You get that cool... Uh, it, they, it took a comb... And again, the vintage, I know, came with combs. But they took the comb, and they made a whip comb weapon out of it. That's a classic. It's even painted the bottom. So that's pretty neat. Check that out. And then the classics also came with the sword, with the cat... Um, handle and the jewel in the middle and again i think it's reminiscent of what the uh vintage one come with so I mean, it's real warped i didn't like the way they did this plastic so classics gets that so in all my videos if you're not familiar let's check out the peg layout okay pop right out how to or the hand snaps out we'll change that left side out with a closed gripping hand check that out and I also change the right side out and again they're closed gripping and they also have on a hinge joint and they go in and out and it can spin and setting up some weapons on the catcher, we'll put a shield in hand first, so, you know, just kind of goes through, pushes through that larger handle, and you got to wrap this other hand around this lower handle, and it seems that the shield is specifically set up for only the left hand. I mean, you, you could put it in this, the other hand, but it's not, you'd have to modify and squeeze it through, but yeah, it's definitely set up for the left side. And it's going to look like that if you choose to use the gripping hand, or you can even use, it might even be better to use the claw hands through here too, but I think, I think the gripping hand's a little better. Okay, and here's a quick look at our catcher with the two hands change out, the shield and the wand in the right hand. All right, check that out. 
And here's a quick look with our Masterverse catcher set up with the classic sword and the classics comb whip, right? So you can take a look at that. Oh my god, what it, you know, I really wish she would have came with those two weapons in the set. That would have been really cool. They look awesome in her hand, but anyway, check that out. And here's a quick look at the classic shield on her uh, left arm. I kept the comb rip in the right. All right, so moving on to some more comparisons. Here's our new Masterverse catcher with our new Masterverse Shira. So you can check them out. Again, you can see the legs, the dress, how it comes down. It, yeah, it all looks good to me, but that's those two together. And here we go. Here's an awesome comparison against our, the new Masterverse Hordak and our Catra. Um, yeah, it's cool that Hordak's out. Well, you know, he's he should be coming to the States pretty soon. I got mine overseas, but I, I figure within the month. Really cool figure, I think. I like the face scope. It works for the Masterverse line. But now we have a Hordak and we got a Catra. So we got some evil Horde going. And they did tease Mantana and Leech on Hordak's box. You know, the Masterverse line goes strong. I have no doubt you're going to see them guys in the line. How could you not? But that's those two together. For one last comparison for curiosity, this is our new 40th anniversary He-Man Skeletor. Now, that was a San Diego Comic-Con pack. That's those guys together. The chest and stomach and stuff are redesigning these. Now, He-Man, we know, is coming a single card. He is starting to come out now. Um, there's some floating around on eBay. Uh, that's not the greatest place to get them. But there's a place called the Paul Mart Store, and they do get... Actually, Catcher might still be in stock on there. I know Zodak was. Um, but I did see, I did hear rumors there was some He-Mans I got, and they sold out. So there, there might be more. Skeletor too. I have no doubt. I said this is my last like Zodak video. You, you know, you will see a single car release of him probably later in this year, next year. How could they not? It. I, I just know they will. But if you're curious, those guys look like together because of the new aesthetics and just the newest stuff coming out with the Masterverse line. There we go. So I think we went over everything pretty well with the new Masterverse Catra. Overall, I yeah, I really like her. I'm happy with her for having a newer version of a uh, Catra figure. My only two gripes, the biggest one being is if you want to remove this or not display her with this headpiece, you got the pet, you know, those holes in the head. I don't like that. Um, I'm gonna display mine with the headpiece so I can live with it. But that's uh, yeah, it's a shame you just that they did that. But that's that's how they went about it. Um, and the other thing is too. Would have been cool if she had some other weapons like the or come with some of the like the comb weapon and the, maybe the sword like the classics, but you got this one instead and a bigger shield. Her articulation's better. I think it'll lay, you know, getting back to the legs. I think they're cleaner with no pins. I think the articulation works better. To where the classics, you can see how the wet the legs go really wonky on mine. The, the, the way the knee splits, the giant pegs, the foot goes out, it's really sloppy. I mean, you can adjust that, but to make her stand, she, this doesn't look right compared to with this one. A lot better in the design. You know, and I like the color. Some of the color, the definition a little better in the classics. The overspray, the dark, I don't know, tone look. Also in the shoulders, too. I don't like the way they're cut in the classics. It's, you know, that's how they did a time where this is also cleaner. And if you want the classics one, it's over $100 on eBay versus, you know, the Masterverse where you can get for $21 or under that on sale when it comes around Big Bad Toy Store and your local retailer. So I think this is a great option if you don't have the classics and you want a new Catra. I like the way she came out aside those little things. So I hope you answer all your questions. I hope you guys are doing great. And until next time, take care.